How's that? Aloha, everybody. I'm going to try something different on this episode. We're going to do a raw recording of me talking during the drive. And you're listening to Paku by Lono. You can find this on Old Style 5. We're going to start our drive in Waimanalo at the Aquaponics place. And we're going to end up in Hawaii Kai Costco parking lot. Here we are at um, Lucanella Street. And we are now on Mekia Street. Or now we're on, now we're turning onto uh, Mekia Street. Mekia Street, sorry. Mekia Street. Is that LNL on the left? There's a market here on the right side. Uh, Shima Supermarket. And next to them is the Waimanalo Feed Supply. So in back of the Waimanalo Feed Supply is the um, Aquaponics Place. We're gonna go into, what is this shopping center called? I don't know, but this is a, uh, Higgins Road that we just turned on and um, we're just gonna drive around in this parking lot just to show you what's there. Oh, and you are listening to um, Kaula Ili by Lono and um, this is on album Old Style 2. We're gonna be showcasing Lono on this whole drive. Well, Manalo is pretty much kind of in the countryside. Uh, the next town over would be en Enchanted Lakes, Kailua. If you go back the other way, uh, you head back towards uh, Makapu, Sandy Beach, Hawaii Kai. Uh, in, in the back, in Waimanalo, there's a lot of farmland, a lot of nurseries. Not so much cattle, but like nursery type of farmland. The Hele gas station. That's kind of fairly new, the Hele gas stations. Um, not brand new, but... I think in this shopping center, uh, aside from Jack in the Box... Is this still Jack in the Box? Yeah, I think so. You have uh, eating place, um, gift shop, Oh look, Dave's ice cream. Subway. Yeah. We're going to head out onto Kalani on Ole Highway. That's the highway in front of you right now. Look at the beautiful art wall right there. That's pretty cool. That's right. We're going to make a left turn here. We wanted to, to uh, check out this art wall. And this is in the 7-Eleven parking lot. There's a bunch of famous people on the Honu. And there's a shark there also on the right side. Um, and I think that's a, a Evo bird, the f a freight bird in there. I don't know who those famous people are, but they, I'm pretty sure that they are. Musicians, oh, is that Paul and Yvonne? Not sure. Um, and this is the 7-Eleven in Waimanalo. You can get some pretty good food at 7-Eleven nowadays. You can get bentos, musubis. Um, you gotta check it out. Each 7-Eleven kind of has similar things. 
some some of the things may be a little different. Uh, did you see back there at the shopping center across the street? There were a couple of tour vans. I, I guess they had it's one of their destination stops for um, uh, souvenir shopping, maybe. And then there was a there was a um, snack and drink tent, I guess, on the side there. So this is Kalani on Ole Highway. Jack in the box across the street there. And again, I'm, this is a raw recording I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just leave it like this. Uh, I usually spend hours and hours and hours trying to get it right, trying to say the right thing. And if I say the wrong thing, I will redo the recording, but I'm gonna just, we'll just do it this way this time. Cause it takes a really long time to do it the other way. So as you can see, there's a lot of, um, there might be, I think they're redoing a lot of, I don't know if it's just the roads here in Waimanalo. This is, uh, by the way, you're listening to uh, Kili'i Mawa'e or Mawa'e and this is by Lono also yeah you can find this on Old Style 3 album Old Style 3 uh, you can't tell right now but you'll see up ahead the street turns into one lane it looks like they're resurfacing the road I'm not sure if they were digging underneath it for anything else Sometimes uh, when the water main break, a water main pipe breaks, um, you know they have to dig it up, right, and replace the pipes. Uh, this is Waimanalo Elementary and Intermediate School here on the right side, and apparently the library is there too. Fire station. Was that the fire station? I think that was, yeah. Yeah, fire station number 27, Waimanalo. And after that is the Waimanalo Health Center. That was on the left. And again, we're traveling on Kalani Anaole Highway. Come along and see unless you have some place to be or not to be Because you got to see the sea down at the sea up at the sea Watch with me where everybody's having fun One of the everybody's reasons that one we one come out to Waimanalo is There's a once again Hawaii um, succulent farm that Cheryl likes to go to um, And then the aquaponics that I like to go to There's some eating places out here that are, are fun to see also Here on the left is Bellows uh, Air Force Station. Um, I think you have to be uh, Air Force to get on, or military to get in there. Can't remember. We used to go camping or picnicking there sometimes. And um, here to the left, this one is Sherwoods, or we call it Sherwoods. So Waimanalo Beach, uh, Bay Beach Park. I don't know why we call it Sherwood Beach inside there. But um, we used to go there to bodyboard. It's smaller conditions than Sandy Beach and. Um, and uh, Makapu. It's more fun, more family oriented there. Oh, and um, I think there's camping in there still. There's uh, McDonald's. Me, Peter, and Cheryl did a walk around Waimanalo one time, but we didn't go on the left side in the residential area. We were more in the nursery side, on the Malka side, on the right side, yeah? Malka is towards the mountain, Makai is uh, towards the ocean. So a while ago we did a food truck episode um, in Kahuku and we showed DNL Seafood. They were out there, one of the food trucks. And uh, I think the guy's from Kaava, but 
His food truck is out here now. Um, you'll see it. We're gonna pass by it. And oh, they had massive Hawaiian plate, like huge um, poke and everything. Wow. So I wanted to stop there, but it was kind of later breakfast time, brunchish. I weren't sure if they were open, and because of the construction, we decided uh, we'll try to come back another day. But if you guys get a chance and you're out on this side, look for DNL Seafood. Uh, it's a food truck, and yeah, I I got a Hawaiian plate from over there one time, and it was so good. Out across the deep blue sea Let's ride on the pride of Maui Let's all go to Turtle You're listening Maui. to About Kihe by Lono And this is on Lono White CD album It's nice to see the sun again The sun is my friend The sun makes me happy If you can come see Mish again In the summer Don't go there now The sun came out once in December Can you take me around? Round and round and round we go Where we stop nobody knows Come on pretty baby Let's cruise If my friend Nalani is watching this I, I kind of always have you in mind every time we uh, come out to this side Because you used to live out here And I drive you home sometimes after work That is the Ko'olau mountain range, I believe. Yeah, it's still just mainly two mountain ranges on Oahu. Ko'olau, and then you have the Waianae range. So, I think, right? Is that right? Uh, one place that we always go to is here Kaneki's. They have uh, good play lunches there. 7 Eleven's right there. There, there's DNL seafood right there on the right. We just passed it. And, um. That's where Manalo Beach Park on the left. You can go swimming here if you turn in right there. Uh, it's not usually not crowded at all, and there is a lifeguard stand there. Uh, just so you know, though, this side of the island, the sun goes down on the other side of the mountain, so uh, the, there's going to be a shadow casting over the beach in the late afternoon. So it seems like the sun goes down sooner, and it does get colder. Yeah, if you're going in and out of the water. <laughs> Also, the sand on this side of the island is a little finer, um, like Kailua. Wait, is that right? Maybe I'm wrong. Now, I heard uh, the finer the sand is, the older the beach is. I don't know if that's true, but makes sense. You can see that island there on the left side. Rabbit Island, yeah? It's also um, the Hawaiian name for it is Manana. It's a, uh, it's actually a bird sanctuary, and it it was called uh, Rabbits Island for a reason because there uh, were rabbits on there. They're not. Uh, um, that's not native. That's not their native. Um, uh, they weren't naturally there. Th they were put there and then they bred a whole lot um, out of control and fear for damaging that uh, spot or that island uh, e ecosystem that they removed the uh, rabbits. I don't know how they did it, but I don't kind of want to know. Um, this is a popular beach that you see here on the left side. I don't know what the name of it is. Oh, Kaiona Beach Park, yeah. There's a lot of birthday parties there and stuff. Um, when you're driving through this area, especially on the weekends, be careful because they have parties and stuff 
on the Makai side here, on the left side. Uh, Magnum PI house used to be here on the left side here too. I don't know exactly where, I can't remember. But they recently, um, I don't know, I think they, I don't know if they broke it down. Oh, by the way, you're listening to Mauna Alani by Lono, of course. Don't forget to check out Lono by his music. Uh, and this is on album Old Style 2. You can check him out on lonomusic.com. And this is Saturday Market uh, on Old Style 5 by Lono, yeah. You can find this on Old Style 5 and again, lonomusic.com. Coming up on the left side, you're gonna see Makai Pier and it is a research facility. They used to use that as TC's helicopter place in Magnum PI with Tom Selleck uh, here on the left right here. It's also a fishing spot. And also, um, a lot of photographers use the underneath pier, pillars, you know, underneath there for pictures. Uh, it makes a nice picture taking area, especially because it's shaded. But we used to go fishing there too. I remember going fishing with my dad and my friend Garrick. Uh, yeah, it was good fun. Coming up on the left side here is uh, Baby Makapoos, I think. That's what you call it. And the uh, main part of Makapu is further down. But on the right side here is Sea Life Park. Sea Life Park um, is also a research area. Uh, maybe not the actual Sea Life Park, but right in the back of it. It's a lot of camping that goes on over here by the baby Makapu side. And there is the back uh, entrance to Sea Life Park but um, I think the employees use that side. You have to enter in actually from the next entrance. You can see the Makapu lighthouse there towards the left on the, um, the mountain side, jetting out over there on the left. And the parking lot to the Makapu beach, the regular Makapu beach is coming up here on the left. Here on the right side is the entrance to Sea Life Park. This is the main entrance. Sometimes when you look up at the mountains here, you can actually see goats, mountain goats. We do have wild mountain goats that just um, go around. Here on the left side is the, you can park here for going down to Makapu um, beach area because the Makapu beach area is actually really small. Oh, and also on the right side, there's, um, there's a hang glider launching area up there. I don't know if they still use that. Sorry, you know the lo road construction, the dot there you see on the on the um, video. That's some cement that had fallen down and went on top of the front lens of the camera. Sorry about that. On the left side here, you'll see this is a Makapu um, lookout area where you can pull in right here, and it has a beautiful view. So if you don't do the hike, you can get this view instead. It's a lower view. It's not as nice, but it's still pretty awesome. Here is the turn in on the left for the Makapu um, Lighthouse hike. Oh, I'm sorry, it, now it's here. This is the turn in for that. That was for the lookout back there. Um, Ka'ivi Shoreline Trail. You can actually, you don't have to go only up to the um, lighthouse, go up. There's actually a trail that goes below uh, and that'll take you to the shoreline also. There is a trail that goes around the whole thing, but I would not suggest doing it. It's actually kind of dangerous. I've done it before and I wish I videoed it, uh, but I was not doing the YouTube channel the way I do now, back then.
On the left side is the lower part, the shoreline trail one. Um, yeah. But the main trail that people do is the one that follows the road up. And that road was actually used in some of the filming too of Magnum PI. Uh, you can see Tom Selleck driving the Ferrari up that road back in the day. It's um, this side is um, kind of dry, this area. Kind of reminds me of how uh, Waianae is. It's kind of the same, similar. Waianae is, you know, out where Makaha is and uh, And you're listening to Watching Waves by Lono. This is on album Radio Kihei. Remember you can buy this um, on lonomusic.com. And I'll have all the information uh, if you want uh, the links for the albums or just to go to Lono Music and check them out down below in the description. On the left side, there's actually some fishing spots in there. You can kind of walk around in there. Um, there is a turn-in area though you can park at. Always though, whenever you do these things, um, make sure you don't leave stuff in your car because people will break your window to grab things. They'll break into your car. Um, no purses left on the seats and stuff. Backpacks. Sorry, that's just a reality here on the right side oh and the entrance to the left side area is it's coming up you'll see it like um, up ahead but on the right side is uh, coming up the Hawaii Kai golf course entrance right here they have a clubhouse in there um, restrooms um, a dining area and then of course the golf course I used to uh, golf so I would come here sometimes. They even have a um, practice area to hit balls. I think. Yeah, 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 they do. It's actually a nice place to go walk around in there, but I, you know, any deserted, obscure, you know, out of the ordin you know, out in the country areas out. I wouldn't do it by yourself, especially if you're a visitor. Please, you know, um, go with other people. There's the turn in there on the left side. Actually, it's further, right there. And um, it is very rocky. You cannot turn quickly in there. Uh, please use caution when you're going in there. Uh, and it is not someplace you have to go, just if you wanted to explore there. This is the right turn going into uh, Hawaii Kai. Uh, if you want to do the non-scenic route straight ahead, that's Coco Head Crater. You can see that on the right side Sandy Beach entrance the back entrance is coming up on the left side here So um, fishing spots too along here. I mean, you know You can pretty much fish anywhere Just some places are better than others So in Coco Head on the on the right side um, There's a hike you have to enter in from Coco uh, um, Coco Head Park. It's on the other side by Hawaii Kai. Um, there's also a botanical garden in there, which if you want to access that, you would have to turn in that right side uh, back there, um, going into Hawaii Kai. And there's a stable also in there. But it's a free botanical garden, and I did a video for that, so you can check it out. On the left side here, um, this is technically not Sandy Beach yet, um, or not the main part of it anyways, but there's all these like tide pool areas over here, and it's not the safest but um, I used to go and use my net to scoop out some fish from my saltwater tank before you gotta watch so the water gets rough over there too and at night you'll see the eels come out and that's when I used to scoop out some of the fishes because at night that's when the fish are sleeping there's a restroom here on the right side that we're passing shower and stuff um, Sometimes you'll see the fire department here doing exercises with their helicopter hovering and they'll uh, repel down on a rope. We're coming up to 
kind of the main side of Sandy Beach here, the main parking area. They've changed it before, but usually when the parking fills up in here, you can park on the street also. Uh, there was one time though that they boarded all that up and you couldn't park there, I think. But I think you can park out there again. Just have to be careful not to get stuck in the sand or on an incline that your car can't handle going uh, in and out of. If you're lucky, you can find parking on the left and you can just stare out into the ocean. It's beautiful. Otherwise, you park on the right side here. So you can see there's a lot of parking spaces. Um, I don't know, I feel like there's less people at Sandy Beach nowadays compared to before. This restroom on the right side here, um, beautiful artwork on it also, just like the other one. Ernie Cruz is here um, on this, um, on a mural on the, on the wall there. Beautiful art piece. Um, Ernie Cruz was with the Ka'o Creator Boys, yeah, but he, he died out over here. They pulled him out of the water. And he was a frequent, experienced person out here. So um, that's, that's why they say Sandy Beach is pretty dangerous, even if you are experienced, yeah. So the lifeguards will always tell you, you know, if, if you look like you're a visitor and you're not used to these conditions, they come talk to you for sure. Especially if you have young kids with you. And if you're trying to go in the water and you don't have fins on, they might come talk to you. A lot of locals might just go jump in for a swim, but you know, this is technically not a swimming beach if you're not used to the conditions. But this is the main part of Sandy Beach um, that we've been driving through and then straight up ahead that we're gonna not go in there. We're gonna back out to Kalani on Ole Highway. Oh. We missed the song. Uh, the song before was Watching Waves. Um, and that was on Radio Kihe. But the song you're listening to now is Uonani Kawaii. And this is on Old Style 2, album Old Style 2 by Lono. We're back out on to Kalani Ano Ole Highway. Um, this on the, we've just passed by the uh, Holona Beach Cove. They, I think they filmed Eternity Beach over there and some other films. Uh, 51st Dates, I think they did a, um, a scene in there also. Uh, you can park, with, and I totally missed the Halona Blowhole lookout area that I forgot to tell you because I was looking at a map, sorry. Uh, that was right after Sandy Beach, after we pulled out that first left, the Halona Blowhole area. Do not go, attempt to go walk down by the blowhole. Um, it's dangerous. Never ever stand over a blowhole. Uh, people have died because the water will shoot up, hit you off balance or lift you off the ground and then you fall in the hole and die because it's jagged rocks. It's not a water park, right? So beautiful but dangerous. You can see a lot of guys might come out over here and go fishing. Um, it's actually a dangerous area, but people will go fishing. Um, and there is a hiking spot on the right side, but I don't I don't know where it is, I forget. This is one of the lookouts here. Is this the Lanai one? I forget. That's a Lanai lookout, I think. You can see Lanai. And if you are into um, shooting, there is a gun range here on the right side and an archery range right there on this right. You need your proper papers to um, go and shoot there. You can't just go there, show up and um, shoot at target. Uh, HPD does train in there also. and uh, I don't know if some other uh, people, associations, groups, clubs, Uh, HPD is the Honolulu Police Department, yeah? 
Coming up on the left side is Hanama Bay. Um, you needed to get reservations to go in there, I think. I don't know if that's still true. Uh, you can't just drive in there anymore. Um, maybe locals can. I'm, you gotta check the website. You're looking at uh, Hawaii Kai down there on the, on the right side. I, I show a hike also on the left side, um, Hanama Bay uh, Ridge Hike. Um, it does say um, government property, no trespassing though, so, you know. Um, never had a problem going up there, but uh, I'm just letting you know that. I'm not trying to make you go do something you're not supposed to do. On the left side uh, is Portlock, kind of a more expensive area. You can see a lot of nice big houses in there. And across there you can see, um, on the right side, that's Coco Marina. Uh, you got the, one of the Leonard's um, express trucks are right, is right there also. Um, you know, Le Leonard's Malasadas, if, if you, you know, it's a couple Hulu ones so busy all the time. Uh, you can't see it right now, but it's there on the right side. You also have Petco there on the corner and Walgreens. Um, on the left side, we pass Coco Head uh, Elementary School and there's a neighborhood park there also. Uh, this road that we're at right now is um, Luna Lilo Home Road. That's the road that would connect with the um, Sandy Beach. Uh, you know, before we went to Sandy Beach, there was a road I told you you could turn into Hawaii Kai. You'd be connecting to this road. So Coco Marina is there on the right side. I remember catching bus out over here. I live in Kaimuki, so we catch the bus out here maybe to go see a movie. Uh, back in the day when I was like in middle school age. Or was I high school already? Uh, I don't know. Uh, they have a lot of food places in there. There's a shave ice place also, ZP's. There's movie theaters. Um, play lunch places. I think you can do ocean water activities in there too. And there's the marina right there, yeah? Um, so, um, you can see what they have to offer. I would look on the website. And I'm sorry, I don't know specifically what websites. We're gonna um, turn right up ahead pretty soon. Uh, we're gonna go to Costco, that's why. Just That's where we were headed to after um, going out to the uh, aquaponics place out in Waimanalo. There's um, houses all along inside there. Um, what you call the like a uh, huge water area in there with houses along um, it's like you know a big lagoon I guess I don't know if it was uh, I think it was a fish pond before at one time but this is um hey which one is this oh yeah this is uh Keohole Street Um, Mauna Lua Bay is there on the left. They have like uh, canoe racing over there sometimes uh, when it's that season. There's a dog park here on the left side. So this is uh, Keohole Street. So we left Kalani Anaole Highway finally. I believe Kalani Anole Highway is named after Prince uh, Kuhio Kalani Anole. You can see a statue of him in Waikiki, yeah? right by um, the Hula Mount. Um, on the right side, if you turn in there, you can actually get to City Mill and uh, Ross Dress for Less, uh, a bunch of eating places. 
That's, actually, you could go in there to go to um, Costco also, but I chose to show the front way. There's a Raising Cane's coming up here, or it's already open, I think, on the right side here. Oh, yeah, it's already open, I think. That's become a thing here in Hawaii, Raising Cane's. Here we're turning into the um, Hawaii, Kao, Hawaii Kai Town Center. Um, there's food places straight ahead. They have Zumba sometimes. Um, City Mill and stuff is on the right side. Uh, there's a bunch of eating places in here you can check out. During Christmas time, there's a really big Christmas tree straight ahead in front. A really tall one. It would be out of the camera right now if it was there. Ah, did I miss some of the songs? I, I must have because uh, Southern Island played earlier and that was uh, on album Radio Kihei. And we are on Ho'opono on album Old Style 3. That's Costco Straight Ahead. Um, and literally right ahead is, is the food stand um, for Costco. You get really cheap pizza slices and hot dog uh, and soda. And the uh, um, Costco tire place um, for automotive stuff is on the right. It's across from the main Costco building, but it's right there. If you look to the right, you'd see it. Oh, actually, I back up so you can see it. And this is pretty much the end of our drive. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't subscribed to Photoluk Hawaii yet, don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell so you can get notifications if you want to get notifications. And thanks everybody for hanging out and watching. Uh, thanks for hanging out on this drive. Aloha.